our last tier one animal is slugs. Um, we'll get our flatworms coming out, but you can see the environment we've got. There we go. We have flatworms. And for slugs, they need the low complex leaf. So notice that the plant I'm using is not tall at all. We've only got the bottom layer kicking out some leaves. And they're complex. They're nice and thick. They look like leaves. Flowers don't matter. As I mentioned, for this type of evolution, the flowers do not matter. We just need these low, complex leaves. Once we know the correct plant type to get our tier 0 flatworms to evolve to a tier 1 animal is just wait. And so that's what we will do. So as we are getting to our next level of evolution, we can always take a look in our eddy gene to see a close-up of the animal. And I can see back here on the tail, in my next generation, we've got this sort of, I don't know what it is on the slugs, but it's its a feature of the slugs. And this one is, is this one's even a little bit bigger, it's easier to see. But what this tells me is that my flatworms have access to the correct food to get to that next evolution. So, we just continue to wait. And there we go. I cut out all the evolutionary time that you would have to wait for. Again, at the maximum speed, only about five minutes for these tier one plants. But we have our slugs. Ooh, I like that one. Which one's gonna be the best though? I like how these evolved. They don't always they don't always look the same as you play through it, so. This this one's looking super energetic. I kinda like that guy. Yeah, we'll use his picture. But there you go. That is the end of our tier one animals that evolve from flatworms. Just eating basically the four different types of plants that we have available to us. Not counting algae or monocots or, or trees. But when we get to our next tier, tier two animals, they're going to take a bit longer and they're a bit more complex. But we've got our first four animals done. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.